Hello everyone, this is Matador again. I wanted to continue on with part 5 of my stock and options risk graph series and continue talking now about selling puts. So we had talked about buying calls and selling calls, buying puts, and now we're going to talk about selling puts. So when you sell a put, all right, again, selling a put option really does oblige you to buy the underlying asset uh, to the option buyer. So again, when you sell a put, you've sort of sold the right to sell to the person who bought that put. So again, selling options naked. For example, when you have not bought a position in the underlying instrument or an option to hedge against it, will give you unlimited risk profile, which we'll see in just one second. Uh, was, that's the beauty of looking at Think or Swim again, uh, ability to graph that kind of work. Um, you'll see a continuous downward line. Uh, it's not exactly a good sign. There's unlimited potential risk there. We can mitigate that, which we'll talk about later, uh, by adding some legs to this. But again, to combine that uh, with the fact that you're obliged to do something, it's uh, generally not going to be a preferable position to put somebody in. So again, um, let's look at this. So if I have sold a put, I can come over here, let's just say uh, the February 08. Look at that. So there's 43 days to expiration. I could have chosen the January 08s, and, uh, but then they would be worth less because there's less time value. So when I sell an option to somebody, I'm going to take in premium, and that's the most I can make. All right, so let's say since this stock is trading at $67.14 by 67.15, and again, this could be any stock. Again, of course, this is not a recommendation, just an example. Um, let's just sell $1.25 worth. So I'd click on that. All right, I sell it to a buyer, somebody on the bid side, and you'll see it plop in down here. So I'm under the Analyze tab on Thinkorswim. I'm on Add Simulated Trades tab, and when I click on that, I see a single cell. And okay, we can make this, instead of 10 or 12, we can just make it one contract. So the equivalent of selling 100 shares. All right, buying 100 shares of this now. So February 08, 65 puts for $1.25 premium. Once that's in there, I can click on Risk Profile, go to Single plus one expiration. That white curved line is what it is right now today. Over time, that will degrade up into and become this green line at expiration. So if I hover over this green line, and white one of course, you'll see down here, look at this, all right? So the most I can make is $125. Down in the left-hand corner, you'll see that right down here. So I hover over that at expiration, $125 is the most I can make. But I might lose endless amounts of money. All right, I can if the stock were to go to zero. So I'll scrunch this up a little bit. Drag this over. All right? If the stock were to go to zero, right there, I might actually lose close to $6,300. Right, but I might only make $125. That's not exactly the best risk profile I've ever seen, and uh, definitely something to avoid, especially at the beginning unless you're hedged. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, be very careful with that. Also, we can look at one other thing, and that is the chances of, and probability of being right. So this is a 65 put that we've sold. What if I were to change that? All right, it's hard to see that. To a 55. All right, so now, right, the chances that the stock goes from where it is now all the way down to 55 cents or lower, where I start seeing a loss in my count, is much smaller than if the stock were to go to 65, which is actually right around the corner. See that? And that risk. Right, so now I can make $125 at the 65 strike price, but if I choose the 55, let me just change that to, if I can do it here, give me one second, we'll go back to the 55, there he is. So there's a better chance that I'm profitable on this trade, but I won't make as much. In fact, I will only make $10. All right, 10 cents on that. All right, what if I were to go up? All right, there's the 70 strike price. 
See what I'm doing here? Now I might make $370 if it expires above 70, but the stock is below that right now. So I'm actually in this curve already, in the flat part of that. If I were to go to 75 or 80, so on and so forth, I'd make more money, but I would have less chance of being right. If I would go down in value, of course, I have more chances of being right, but I won't make as much. And that's going to be fairly ubiquitous between uh, all option strategies. More risk, more reward, less risk, less reward, but more chance of being right. So very good. Just wanted to walk you through that uh, sold put profile. Remember, that's a very, very dangerous profile to be in, and that's the same profile as having a uh, covered call. So if I buy a stock and sell a call, I will also have this exact same profile. So be very careful with your covered calls as well. well thanks for joining me on freetradingvideos.com, and I will talk to you soon.